I want to ask you about you and your girlfriend. You guys have a very interesting relationship. And, Thank you. And that's real, right? It's not an act. It's real. It's real. It's all 100% real. Yeah. There's no, like, there's no, my channel, uh, there's a couple, there's like a joke song uh, called I'm a Pedophile. There's some other skits, but they're very clearly jokes. Uh, anything you see that is just like me with my girlfriend or any conversations you see with me, it's, this is, it's not acting. It's all real. And your girlfriend, first name is Shalo, right? Shaylin. Shaylin. Yeah, Shaylin. Um, yeah, Shaylin. Why are you with her? She seemed to be so out to lunch. Why are you with her? Out to lunch like crazy? Yeah. You think she's crazier than me? No. I, if she was sitting there, I would ask her why she with you. Well, see, there you go. <laughs> if you have to ask us both, then right. maybe we're maybe we're a good match. And how did how did two crazy people come together? How did that happen? I uh, was not finding what I was looking for on Tinder and OkCupid, and I was a nude art model in Los Angeles, and so I knew a lot of uh, artists on Facebook because I would pose for them. So I started adding female artists on Facebook and I ended up adding 500 women on Facebook and just messaging all the uh, ones that I was attracted to who, who looked single and local. And Shaylin was one of those lucky ladies. And so did you guys have an instant attraction where you finally met each other in person? Yes. And what was it that attracted you about her or toward her? Um, I don't know. You don't know? No. Do you? Uh, the first thing I said to her in messages was that she looked like Lady Gaga. <laughs> and she said, okay, nice. Let's, let's hook up. Yeah, there were a couple <laughs> more bumps in the road, but basically, yeah. And, um, would you call your relationship, you guys' relationship, would you call that healthy? I don't believe in healthy relationships. I don't I normally that, use that word either. I just couldn't think of another word. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would definitely call it uncommon. I don't think it's a normal relationship. But, um, yeah, I think that once you get that close with people, you know, I think societally we we are just not very good at relationships yet. I think we you know we look back at like the fifties, and when I look back, when I when I think about the nineteen fifties, I think that people um, didn't talk about anything, that everything was fake and everything was you know under wraps, and it was very hard for people to connect to each other emotionally. And I think that we're still kind of stuck in that, a different version of it. But I th I think that um, I'm trying to figure out with Shaylin a, a, a way for us to be together. Cause I, I don't think that either of us really like um, the standard choices of how people construct their relationships. Do you think that in a relationship that people should connect emotionally or is this something else that should happen? Yeah. I think people should connect emotionally. Yeah. And why emotions are not real. They're fake. It doesn't last. It never works. Why should they do it that way? Uh, well, let me say, I want to do it that way. You can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> I want to connect with my partners emotionally. Um, and why uh, I feel I feel lonely if I don't. I feel like that's the whole point. To me, a relationship to me is not about like, you know, somebody to have sex with or somebody to make me dinner. It's more about... Um, emotional intimacy. That's what I want out of the relationship in the first place. I want to feel like somebody knows me and somebody is, is really truly holding my hand as we plummet towards death. That's amazing, man. Uh, this is so interesting to me. Uh, so you and Shaylin uh, connect in that way where she take away your loneliness. Yeah. So you're not lonely anymore. Sometimes. But um, less so. 
So she doesn't take it away. It's just sometimes you don't feel that when you're with her. Yeah. So it's not taken away then. Um, do no. you do you plan to marry her? Would you like to marry her and start a family? I, I would like to marry her. Um, I don't think that I am ready to do that. Uh, we've only been together like two, uh, I guess almost three years. Um, uh, a family? I don't know. Uh, I'm open to it. So you've been together three years. How much time do you need to know if you want to marry her and start a family? Um, I would like to see some more stability in our relationship. Things are definitely uh, turbulent but sometimes, if, but if both as, of you, as we've all seen. <laughs> if both of you are emotional, emotionally out of control, and both are That's crazy, and right. both are crazy, how do you expect it to get better if both are on the same level, the same state of being? Um, yeah, so rather than repress our feelings, I still want to be very emotional and express the feelings, but I, I want to construct a relationship that's like a steel drum that we can bounce around the inside of without it flying apart. And right <laughs> now it fe it feels a little shaky. So there's a few more bolts I want to put in there before I, I want to get married. But how will you do that if you're emotional? I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. 